February 16, 1945. After returning from Bear Island, I felt it was important that my crew get some much needed rest after successfully completing two grueling missions from command. Whilst they were out, I spoke with command regarding how scarce Allied shipping was to the north. I informed command that I wanted to take my crew to the north shores of England as I felt that we would have much more success in locating Allied shipping and thus not only being able to gather critical intelligence for the wolf packs, but also take out key targets and crippling the Allied supply lines. Command approved of this daunting task and once my crew arrived back from leave, I informed them that we would be leaving immediately as there was no time to waste. This will no doubt be my crew's toughest mission to date and will surely test their skills on all levels, but I have no doubt that they will prevail and together we will strive to regain Germany's control of the Atlantic. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of U-Boat. So, quick recap from the last episode. We obviously went to Bear Island to the north here and set up the weather station, which is supposedly going to help our intelligence with critical weather information and hopefully will also allow us to somehow find shipping that is going to the north. But we know how scarce it was because coming up here we only ran across those three destroyers and coming back towards the port of Bergden, I ran into no shipping whatsoever. So that was a, it was a little strange. And then we obviously had to come down here and I had to do something because I saw that torpedoes and the, the job wasn't done. So we came over to the port of Leith, which is not in the game yet. So we're gonna pretend it was never even there. And we were able to take out a few ships here, which really helped. So got back to the Port of Bergen, let the crew go on a much needed uh, leave for, I think it was for about a week, and we are back whilst away. Obviously I had to talk to command regarding how scarce the shipping was, and so, the plan of action. We are going to go and patrol the north shores, the northwestern shores of England and Ireland, and we are going to hunt down every single ship that we have. We are not coming back to the port of Bergden until every single one of our torpedoes has been used. And that's a promise, you can take that to the bank. We are expending all of our torpedoes before we return to the port of Bergden. And it, it's critical, we need it. We need it for uh, Germany's sake in order to try and regain the front, especially since Russia is only pushing in over here in Poland and Hungary. And then we have the West that we have to worry about. So we need to cripple the supply lines so that the allies can't push any further. So that is the goal. So without further ado, we're going to start making our way over to the north shores of England and Ireland, and we will be right back. Alright, we just reached roughly the northeastern part of England, and we are already receiving a message from the U-1022. So we're going to find out what it is they need. Convoy and Naval Square AE-993 pursuing eight merchant ships. Ooh, one escort carrier, two cruisers, four escorts. Oh my goodness, that is huge. Northeastern course. Confirm. Let's go ahead and see just where they're at. Hello. Okay, we're going to divert to the north. This U-1022 is in pursuit of a convoy. We are going to try and head them off and see if we can't get some juicy targets. No doubt, if they're heading north, they're gonna be heading towards Russia. So this is gonna be our first critical bit. And here we are. It was pretty far to the north too. This could be, this could be money right here. That is a large group growing towards Russia. So we definitely need to uh, make an impact here. So we're gonna try and get ahead of this and I will set a point roughly there. Little X marks the spot. All right, we are back and we are just about in position. Let me get rid of all this nonsense really quick. So now that we're getting a little closer, let's get a better read of where these guys are coming through. It almost looks like they're coming right at that. Let's slow down to 12 speed compression time. Nice little 90 degree going here. So from the boat to the point here, we're at 6.4 kilometers. And ideally we'd like to be 
I would say probably within 3.5 kilometers at the max. So we can do that. And we can just wait for him. That'd be the best thing we can do. Line compression. We'll get to 4 kilometers and stop right there, please. Come in a little bit at 3.8. And we're gonna hold right here and wait and see what we can see because naturally with a group of 18 to 40 I mean this is going to be a huge group there might be some that we can pick off at we're at 3.8 but they'll be within 1.5 of us I wouldn't be surprised all right and here we go we are ready to start rocking and rolling here so the first thing we've spotted naturally this is going to be holy hell let's see what we're dealing with naturally that's gonna be the destroyer we were talking about My goodness, look at it all. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so I decided we are going to get a little bit closer, and it worked out marvelously. We're about 2.1 kilometers, or I'll say two kilometers from the nearest destroyer, and he did not pick us up. Granted, I went, si oh my gosh, I need to turn on the blue lining. What am I doing? I'm surprised he didn't notice us going by and turn off the gyro compass. But we are in good striking distance. Let's go ahead and find the juiciest of targets again. And hello. <gasps> Is that a liberty? Oh my gosh, that's a liberty. Two in the front, one in the rear. Classic. There it is. Classic. Liberty. Let's go ahead and get a velocity for this thing. This is a target number one, if we will. This is target number one, definitely, and start. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, I think it's going about seven knots. That would make the most sense, because that's about average for a convoy, seven knots. Seven, eight knots, but with uh, ships this big, it's definitely nothing greater than uh, seven knots. And we will go ahead and stop, set, Seven knots, there it is. Course, we're gonna get a course. Where is he about in the formation? Oh my gosh, he's right in front of us, pretty much. Go ahead and see what that distance is, because he's, again, just about. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. I didn't even see this guy. Yes. That's a C3. Oh my goodness, recognize velocity. We already know it's going seven knots. Course and distance. Where is this in the group? <gasps> Heavy breathing. Holy shit, we have some amazing targets, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get the course velocity for this one. Come to think of it, we're not even going to need to get the speed of these ships because we already know it's seven knots. So for this C3, I already put seven knots, but we do need to get a course and distance. So let's hurry up and do this because this is almost at a 90 degree angle, which is perfect for us. But we're looking at right about 5.8 kilometers. We're gonna set that at 5,800. That is a long way. I don't even know if our torpedoes can reach that. That might max them out. That very well might max them out. Now, course looks right about 86 degrees. Let's go ahead and plot that in for course. 85 point, pff, look at that, that works for me. Go ahead and load tube one and two. We gotta do 30 knots, 16 meter dispersion. Let's bring those in a little bit more. 14 meter, that sounds good to me. Depth of 1.5 meters. Fire. Do one away. Tube two away. Let's go ahead and unlock from here. Perfect, let's lock on to the Liberty. We need to go above the water. It is getting a little too choppy out here for my liking. We are locked on. Let's go ahead and load two, three, and four while we gather the rest. Of course, I think it's going to be right around the same at 85.9 degrees. But let's get a updated distance, shall we? Get rid of these old points. Distance is going to be right at about... Ooh, we'll say 4,300. It's right there at the little breaking point. So 4,300 meters. We gotta wait for these torpedoes to get out a little further though, before we send these torpedoes. 
but they're right on the same line. I hope they have enough juice to get to the C3. It would be incredible to be able to knock out both of these targets. As soon as these get out a little further, we will send the next two. I'm going to wait for them to get right at around the R in the word spread here, and then I'm going to send the next uh, set of torpedoes. All right, here we go. Close. Fire the next set. Tube three away. And tubes four away. Now, plan of action. We are going to go forward one and start turning around, heading in the opposite direction of this convoy. So hopefully by the time these torpedoes, if they hit their targets, I'm hoping they do, these destroyers are going to start looking around the area that they came from. However, when they're searching here and doing their sonar pings, we're already going to be right down here, which is perfect. We might be able to just completely get away from this, which would be absolutely incredible. Come on, let's get some good impacts here. Germany definitely needs this. Yeah, it's a beautiful uh, day out though, isn't it? Oh my gosh, did we get a hit? <gasps> we did get a hit. We can't even see the friggin' C3 there because it's out of sight of our... Uh, our, our freaking oh my gosh in a second hit yes two hits oh my goodness two hits on the Liberty and we had at least one hit it looked like on the uh, c3 this is exciting oh my goodness go down please okay really quick we need to let's go ahead and down periscope please oh that looks great you can unlock down periscope and let's start dropping depth. Forward one still, but let's drop down to 43 meters, as they will surely be looking for us now. Let's go ahead and increase speed to forward two. Ladies and gentlemen, did we just simultaneously sink a Liberty and a C3? Yes! Liberty is down, right? <gasps> Hell yes, is this the C3? There it is, it's in sight now. It took one, it's still chucking along though. Look at that, ah. Masts are falling over though. We're getting a lot of transmissions, oh my goodness. All the U-boats are coming in. Oh my goodness, I hope this goes down. It can't continue. We need to take this down. But we at least guaranteed that we got a Liberty down, right? Yep, there's the lifeboats and it is officially going down. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pretty sure we've confused the enemy. Yes, we have. Hell yes. Look at that. Let's go forward one, turn this boat around, and let's go ahead and surface the boat. Oh, it's such a shame that we're never going to know of that C3. Let's go ahead and get the radio men on board here. Listening to the radio. Viewed messages, send report. Value 3,900. Ship spotted, ship spotted, and the SSA Frank lever sunk. So that's going to be the Liberty. It doesn't look like we sank that C3. Oh my goodness. Alright, so some bad news. We lost the convoy. I have no idea where it went. I searched in a northeastern pattern as it was heading, and they must have changed course because by the time I was able to get back down and use my hydrophone, nothing. But that's okay. I'm pretty sure with 7,181 tons sunk, I don't know if that's just the Liberty or if we sank both the Liberty and the C3. However, we did sink the Liberty. That was a big hit. And with no doubt with the C3 as damaged as it was, it's gonna have to turn around and go back to port. There's no way it's gonna be able to continue to Russia with that hole in it. It wouldn't make it, it'd sink. We're gonna head back over to where we originally were going though in our patrol area and we are going to continue our patrol because we still have tons of torpedoes to get rid of. All right, we got another message coming in from the BDU. They are just sending everything at us. Here we go. We suspect that the Americans are going to share a crucial technology under their third Lend-Lease program. Our agents determined that the prototype device along with the necessary documentation was loaded onto the 
Hobart Baker cargo ship. It must be sunk at all costs to delay this exchange. Our best estimate that it is currently passing through the Naval Square AM271 with a course of 64 degrees. The ship is moving in a convoy and traveling at a speed of 7 knots. Alright, we have, and there it is. <gasps> and it's only a tiny group, 3 of 7, wow. We have our target, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. We're going to catch up to this. We're going to get inside of it. And we will be right back as soon as we get close enough to start spotting it with the hydrophone. All right, and here we are. Our new objective, Sink Hobart Baker. We have arrived in the area that we need to. And it looks like the convoy is headed right towards us. It's a tiny group. It says three of seven. What we need to do is start warming up all these torpedoes, please. Let's go ahead and get those started to warm up. Get those torpedoes warmed up. We already got one on the hydrophone. Captain is ready to rock and roll, it looks like here. Go ahead and see if we can't see him off in the distance. And here they are, heading right towards us. Holy shit, this is going to be a slaughter fest. I don't see any destroyers protecting them. Hello, what is this? That is a very big ship, it looks like. We're going to be able to hit all. We can hit the rear torpedoes. We can hit our side torpedoes. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a slaughter fest. All right, first target locked on. Freighter. Only small. There it is, Empire Tower. Let's get a velocity to start this all. I'm sure it's going to be right around seven knots. Start. And get ready to stop it in three, two, one, stop, set, seven knots, perfect. Force as it stands right now. I know we can do the old fashioned way of doing a course, but this tends to work pretty well for me right here. Just to do two intersecting paths, get my protractor out. Go to the center of the paths, and we have a path of roughly 94 degrees. Course, relative course. Right around 94, 93.8 works for me. Any distance. You know how I like to get my distances. We're at a distance of roughly 1.8 kilometers. 1800 kilometers, perfect. Go ahead and unlock. Next target. Oh my goodness, and we also already have our target right here. Here is the Hobart Baker. Let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of ship this Hobart Baker is, because it looks big. And I'm pretty sure there's guns on it. There are guns on it. There it is. Yep. We should have done this the other way. We're going to have to turn our ship around to get some uh, torpedoes on this Hobart Baker. We're going to have to forget about this target for right now. We're going to have to readjust. Forward two, please. We're going to have to turn it around and get ready for the Hobart Baker. Holy shit, we are only 870 meters from the Hobart Baker here. We need to act really fast on this velocity. We already know it's at seven knots. Of course, let's get a very basic course going here, so we know it's course to be roughly like that. Intersect both. Protractor, please. Connect the two. A course roughly of 75 degrees. 75 degrees and a distance. Gosh, we can't even... 800 meters. We need two loaded, please. Thank you very much. The good thing is, is once we sink the Hobart, I don't think there's anything else that is uh, going to pose much of, much of a threat to us at all. All right, it is time. Two torpedoes, 800 meters, fire. Go ahead, while we're waiting for that, let's take a look at what else is coming our way nothing that really poses much of a threat to us. 
We can use the deck gun on all these. Oh my goodness, this is just going to be disgusting as soon as this is all over. And here are our torpedoes. These, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, are going to be hits. Get ready for the fireworks. One. And can we get a second one, please? What happened to the second one? I know we shot two. That's fine. Serious damage. That thing is fully ablaze. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting. Let's go ahead and surface the ship and man the deck gun, please. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is, mission completed officially. Hobart Baker is sinking. And we are surfaced. Let's go ahead and man that deck gun, please. Deck gun mounted. It's about ready to be a turkey shoot. Oh, and here we go. I think this guy's going for ramming speed right here. Let's aim for that water line. Oh, it is over. Good night, sweet prince. Fire on board. It is done for this one. I think we're just going to do one more for good luck and then call this a day on this one. Perfect. Go ahead and turn the ship around. And there it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Officially sinking hell. Yes. Friggin' perfect. Okay, plan of action. This one has officially sunk. We're good. The rest of these aren't American or British, so I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to call it right here. And we're going to get back in course. And what we're going to do is we're going to get back to start patrolling this area to look for more allied shipping. I think that's probably the best course right now, but we sunk the British as well as the target that we needed to get, which was the Herbert Hobart, excuse me. Well, the good news is we've already completed the tonnage value that we need for the mission. Now all we need to do is travel 2,500 kilometers within this marked area, but we're here for, uh, we're here until all the torpedoes are done. I wasn't kidding about that. So we're going to get a patrol course set up and we're going to get right to it. All right. Well, the course is set and we're going to start getting our 2,500 kilometers going. I got to say, if I may, what a successful run so far as the game automatically saves right here. Thank you. We were able to take out the Liberty in the northeastern portion of England here as well. I think we got that C3. I hope it didn't get away and limp away, but it had to return to port. There's no way it would have been able to carry those supplies over to Russia to help the Russian effort. It would have had to return to port. Then we shot over here and got a message from BDU regarding the vital technology from the Hobart that we did sink and take out. I mean, this crew, they've impressed the hell out of me, to say the least. So, so I think that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely going to be a two-part episode because it was just so much to get rid of all these torpedoes. It would be an hour long, and I don't want it to be that long of an episode. I'll break it up into two parts, but that's going to do it for this one. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please comment down below. Let me know you guys have enjoyed it. Please consider giving the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And for anyone that's new to the channel, if you guys are liking this series and you want to see more series like this and others coming out really soon, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You'll get notified anytime a new video comes out and you'll be the first to know. So please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. But that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the seas are getting pretty rocky. I'm going to get back down below waters and we are going to start hunting for the next target. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?